If you've been following my channel, you know this is the Beta Duplex. One of the nice things about about Beta is that you can have live plants in with them and they don't destroy them. So what I'd like to do is replace this decorative plant here in the back corner with some live plants. And in my recent uh, shopping spree video, you saw that I went over to the aquatic critter and I picked up some plants. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, some plants, some tall plants, some wisteria in the uh, in the back corner here, and may maybe throw one in here too on this side. Even though I already have a an anubias that seems to be doing okay attached to a piece of wood, let's go ahead and uh, and upgrade this duplex with some new plants. And then the next stage is I'm going to go ahead and and replace the uh, filtration with something a little bit less bulky. Not because this filter isn't good, it's an awesome filter, but it's a little bit uh, uh, bulky for this size of an aquarium, especially when it's been divided using this middle divider here from Life with Pets. So let's go ahead and get, get it done. This is, some, this is some filter media that was in the prior bed up tank that I brought over and, and put in here. So I'll, I'll pull that out as well because I think this tank is, it already has some beneficial bacteria established, especially in the uh, in the, the, she say, the, the Shark Pro 500, that one is loaded with beneficial bacteria. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out as well. I don't think I need them anymore. Hopefully this isn't gonna startle Picasso too much. The work's going to be done on his side of the tank. I really like this uh, glass top. I think I might be getting glass tops for all the tanks now that things have getting, gotten kind of settled in here. I didn't do it at first. I was trying to cut corners financially because of the budget. Things are a little better now with the, with the help of the garage gang. I love the shape of the uh, these leaves. Pretty nice. It's a type of wisteria. Just to, just to mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna put some of this in there too. I understand it grows pretty tall. There's a piece of driftwood here that I picked up locally. It's just gonna float until it gets saturated enough to sink down but I think I'll put a little bit of this red put a little bit of this red guy I think I'll put him on the other side one in the corner here and one on the other side behind the Anubius you notice all the almond leaves and uh, bark and nuts and acorns I have in there. Uh, bettas are, they, they love that kind of stuff, the tannins and the black water type items. I have some plants left over. I think I'll put those in the 55, in the 55 gallon and hold them there until I, uh, until I do the new planted tank project. So now what I need to do is replace the filtration I'll be replacing that with a couple. Two Cichet uh, Micron internal filters, which will give both sides some good filtration without a lot of water movement. And I think I'm gonna put two of those into this 29 gallon and remove that larger, uh, that larger 500 Shark Pro. Okay, so here we are with the live plants. I think Picasso approves. So much nicer than the um, plastic plants. Plastic plants certainly have their role in the hobby, but you can't beat live plants. I'll give the tank a squirt of uh, a 
aquarium co-op vitamins, some of their liquid plant food, and this tank will be good to go. All that's left is to add the two little filters, which I should be getting in the mail probably early next week. And I'll swap out this uh, Shisei Shark Pro 500. Great filter, not sure what I'll do with it. I'll probably put it in the 29. 29 gallon community tank. Great colors on that fish. Here are the other live plants in the uh, Quarantine 55. There's one of them there. Red Spotted Severum. I put the divider in because the Red Spotted Severum was pecking at the bag when I was floating the uh, Tetras. Might not have meant anything, but I didn't want to put them in with a fish that thinks that uh, they're a snack. So here are the uh, Buenos Aires Tetras. There's six of them in here. Two of them are hanging back here with the uh, neons. Little neons hanging under, under the plant there. I think it's about four neons and six of the Buenos Aires Tetras. And here are the other two plants. More wisteria with that beautiful uh, leaf pattern like the one that uh, I put into the uh, Beta Duplex. So those plants eventually will be moved out of this tank and put into a special project that I'll be uh, sharing with you shortly, which involves the uh, tearing down of the eight gallon and using that, that plant, special fluval plant soil, along with some other, some other substrate that I picked up just now. So that's the update. I'm going to turn off the light and let them get settled in. That's it for me. Be sure to tune in on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We'll do some follow-ups on these projects. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.